Why do the Navi from Pandora in the Avatar movie only have four limbs when most of the organisms or animals on Pandora in the movie have six? We actually covered this topic in two different videos, one being why do animals in Pandora have six limbs and the other being why do banshees only have four limbs. You guys can check that out in the cards. All right, now on to the humanoids. Well, the Navi have four limbs presumably for two reasons, possibly. Number one, James Cameron wanted them to be more relatable, so if they look more human, they're more relatable to the audience. Or two, they evolved from an ancestor that had two. Or did they? The ancestor of the Navi is thought to be the Prolemurus. Prolemurus. I don't know how to... Prolemurus. Root word, lemur. A creature that has two arms that split into two forearms. The upper bones in its arms fused and reasons for this evolutionary result seems to be to assist them in moving through the trees. That is why it is believed that these guys are an evolutionary precursor to the Navi, and they even look very much alike with their facial structures. So, again, in simple terms, the Navi have two arms because they used to have four arms, the two arms on each side fused into one. Now the question is why? Well, the Navi stand upright bipedally, like humans, whereas creatures with six limbs may find their movement facilitated on the ground since all their four limbs or all their six limbs are grounded. The Navi may find that to encumber them if they had four arms. Running on two legs with four arms seems to create more drag than necessary. If they were not upright, it would be an advantage, but they are, and it's also why they're so lean. The Navi run very fast and have to be quicker than the fauna in their environment because everything there can essentially kill them. To be quicker, they must have the option to run fast on the ground and move through the trees. Having four limbs help reduce drag on the ground, and they have hands to help them escape through the trees. Now, further evidence that the Navi evolved from the prolemur thing that I spoke of earlier is the fact that they have four digits. Only Jake or humans using bodies as avatars have five, but natural Navi have four. If you look at the prolemur, you'll see that each of its four limbs had two digits. And since it's believed that those limbs fused into one, then how many digits would the one have? Two plus two equal four. And that would explain why the Navi people have four. Isn't learning fun? Yeah, of course, we're gonna have some people asking questions like, well, if the Navi evolved from prolemurs, then why are there still prolemurs? Well, it's very simple. An easier term or way to look at this would be to look at dogs. Again, this is a very elementary example, but a pomchi is a Pomeranian mixed with a Chihuahua. What if you took a whole bunch of pomchis and then bred them with one another to the point where they all have a universal trait? They would eventually become a breed. We even have that happening today where there are specific breeders of pomchis. But if that's the case, then why do we still have Chihuahuas and Pomeranians? Again, this is a very elementary example, but you see where I'm going with this. The reason why there's still Pomeranians and Chihuahuas is because Pomeranians are still breeding with Pomeranians and Chihuahuas are still breeding with Chihuahuas. I have to reiterate that this is an elementary example. I'm, I'm completely aware that a Chihuahua is still a species of dog. Every breed of dog is a species of dog and these are just breeds, okay? I'm just painting it with a broad brush to make it more understandable. Anyways, in this case, this is more selective artificial breeding in the terms of domestic dogs. However, a similar rule can be applied to the Navi and their presumed ancestor. Let's go far back into the history of the Navi, when they were all a group of prolemurs. The prolemurs would not have all resided in the same place. Maybe a tribe of them broke off and migrated somewhere else. But now we have a tribe of prolemurs that lived in their original habitat in a lush forest with a fierce ground predator or multiple fierce ground predators. The second tribe that broke off also moved to a lush jungle far away from their original home. However, in this new jungle, there are not only fierce ground predators, but also very dangerous sky predators. These sky predators would target prey in the trees like the pro lemurs. So the second tribe of pro lemurs had to evolve to not only escape from the ground predators in the trees, but also learn how to escape from the sky predators by jumping down into the ground and running under the canopy. Over time, because of pressures from the environment and new predators, the second tribe of prolemurs evolved to have longer legs and longer arms so they could have longer strides through the trees and on the ground. They became more lean so that when they ran or swung through the trees, they would have less drag from the air resistance on Pandora. 
Since the most dangerous predator in their new area was predators in the sky, essentially, they spent most of their time on the ground, and because of that, it was less advantageous to have four limbs. Or sorry, less advantageous to have six limbs. So, eventually their arms finish fusing, and they not only fuse into one limb on each side of the body to reduce drag, but also to make tools and weapons and defend themselves while they're on the ground. This is what we presume might have happened, and because the original tribe of Herlemurs stayed where they were, and didn't have to worry so much about sky predators, they were not forced to evolve as rapidly as a second tribe. Why would they change when their current structure is working perfectly for them? Animals and species only change drastically when there is pressure to do so. Pressures could include change in the climate, introduction of new organisms or predators or prey in the ecosystem, competition for food resources, etc. So, that is most likely why the Navi have two arms and two legs instead of six limbs together. This is just another theory, um, our theory specifically, but feel free to add yours. And I'm sorry that I'm talking so slow, but sometimes it feels as though there are some people that don't actually watch or hear what is being said in the video, and they end up asking the same question that was already addressed in the video. So forgive me for that. I know the majority of you were not like that, but just so that it can be easier for them to pick up and not it not go over their head what is being said. Um, I spoke a little slower because it, it's kind of easy to get lost. But yeah, that's essentially the theory as to why the Navi only have four limbs. So again, if you have your own theory as to why this is, feel free to add it in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Altiori. You ask, we answer.